We talked about the elephant in the room this morning, right? The competition. The competition is coming. We need to understand who they are because, believe me, they are out there right now trying to understand who we are. So there's a saying, right? <laughs> False. Do we want to be that sunken boat? I don't think so. Um, competitors are coming and they really do change the market and change it for the good. We had a little conversation at one of my tables this morning about what the market looked like 20 some years ago when natural products were only 7% of total food sales and today they're 15% of total food sales. So that tide does rise and we can all lift with it, but we really need to do it in a very respectful and intentional way. We have to remain competitive. Back in the 80s when um, our store was one of the only natural food stores in town and the competition wasn't selling our product, uh, we were encouraged to put up a billboard. We need to let people know that Outpost is there. And I didn't like that idea. I thought, well, I don't know. That's really not us. That's really not what we're all about and what we're supposed to do. But people need to know we exist. If we put up a billboard, people will know that we exist. Well, it never made sense to me to think of, if we promote it, they will come. There's got to be much more intention to it than just that. So, because we're talking about, about thriving. Today, this is a trajectory of what's happened with Outpost. Um, the national competitors did arrive in 2006 and into 2007. You can see what that did to our sales prior to that. Um, in 2000, we opened our second store. We remodeled our initial store in 2003. And then in 2005, we opened our third <laughs> store. So we've had little up and ups and downs along the way, but we took a big dip when those competitors arrived. And then, of course, we had to get past the recession, right? Uh, look what happened after the recession. Our trajectory has been one of growth. What happened was the market heated up. What happened was more and more of the conventional stores in town started to pick up natural products. And yet, our sales have grown through that change. Our strategy of growth has been really to secure the market with different locations on different, in different parts of town, primarily because our owners want access to healthy natural foods and they want it through a co-op. But that's changing and we need to understand how we can continue to thrive even with those conditions that are out there. So what we did was we focused on our owners. We focused on what can we do for our co-op owner, member owners that gives them a greater value when they come to shop there. We started doing price comparisons. Uh, we developed a pricing strategy. That strategy uh, is reviewed quarterly as we move forward today so that we know that we're on top of our game at all times. These programs were created uh, for our owners. Get Fresh is really focused on not center store, but the fresh products that we offer, both the things that we make as well as um, what our local vendors feature. Get Local is our, our program where we take 5% off of a select group of local products to encourage people to purchase those products. Interesting conversation this morning about brand and, and whether or not we need to provide the brands that the mid-levels are looking for or change the way mid-level shop when they shop in our stores. Uh, but we, we really believe that the mix of fresh and local that we have in our stores is one of the different differentiators um, at our business. We also took that to uh, our website so that people who haven't yet visited us or our core group who want to learn more about us can really see that our focus is on fresh and both through the specials that we offer as well as the departments. And building that relationship with our vendors was also very important. We try to feature those, those local vendors whenever possible in our stores. So what did we do? We remodeled two of our stores uh, in 2011 and 12 because we knew we were opening a new store in 2014. So we wanted all of our stores to look similar. We brought that fresh and local messaging into our stores, uh, both through the perimeter as well as the signs that we have in our stores. Uh, we'll be remodeling our flagship store, which we call our original. We've been at that location 25 years now and with the new competition and we know we need to keep it fresh. Just a couple pictures of our uh, newest store. A focus on fresh with the store we opened last year. You walk in, you're walking into prepared foods. You then go into 
uh, the produce department, you then move into dairy and into the meat department. So we really tried to re arrange our stores in the way that we're encouraging people to shop. We don't just depend on what we say, but we try to get our owners to speak for us out in the community. We have this little thing called I Love Outpost, that sign travels throughout the stores at events um, to make sure we get the opportunity to give our owners that chance to tell us why they shop there and why they love us. We use social media often, uh, daily, several times throughout the day to encourage people and connect with people with what's going on at the store. Uh, we've developed our strategies in five key areas, and I'm sorry I don't have the time to go into that a lot today, but our messaging moving forward really is about these five areas, and these five areas are the reasons that people love us. They love our business, they love the fact that we're a co-op because we've got our long-term goals set in those areas. And we communicate that with our owners as well. So last year's annual report was all about making those ends results and those connections to those five strategic areas. We put those areas on our website. You can click on the icon. It'll take you to, to a different page in the website that talks about local food, um, our sustainable solutions, our sustainability report, et cetera. Um, these are the messages that differentiate us. These are the messages that we think if we do a good job, it's building relationships in the community, and that's what's going to help us th thrive and not just survive. Um, I don't think we need a billboard, but we definitely need to keep our eye on the future in order to compete. I know right now in our market, um, Pick and Save, which is the largest uh, co conventional retailer in the Milwaukee area, is going to be closing 12 stores. We heard that from our realtor this week, and they're closing those stores because they're preparing for the competition coming in as well. We're getting two Fresh Time stores, we're getting our second Whole Foods stores, store, we're getting a Myers chain from Michigan into the market, they're coming in with four stores, they're hiring 600 employees in our market. Uh, this is all happening in the next year and a half. So if we don't keep our eye on the future, we're gonna be that boat at the bottom of the water rather than the one that ri rose to the top. So, thank you. Great. Thank you so much, Pam. And thanks also to Sharon and Sarah and to Sean for sharing.